idling. A vibrant planet blessed by the light of the crystal. A mid-azure seas encompassing the westernmost of the three great continents. There lies a realm embraced by gods and forged by heroes. Her name, Aeorzea. The annals of Aeorzean history chart the rise of a succession of great civilizations, each one enjoying an age of peace, the Astral Eras. To date, all have proven ephemeral. In the year 1572 of the sixth and most recent astral era, the Northern Empire of Gollumol amassed a great army at the heart of Eorzea, seeking dominion over all. Rising in desperate resistance, the forces of the Eorzean Alliance met their would-be conquerors in the field. Yet, even as the battle raged, the lesser moon, Dalamon, was plucked from the heavens through imperial machination. From its core emerged the elder primal Bahamut, who unleashed his fury upon the realm. Devastation brought Eorzea to its knees and the error to its end. Five years have come and gone. The light of life still shines upon Eorzea. Man labors tirelessly to raise himself from the calamity's ruin. The realm is forever changed, a stranger to him once more. Yet heedless of what lies ahead, he shall press on. Spurred by the promise of peace and prosperity. Amid this period of great change, an adventurer arrives in Eorzea, one whose tale is yet unwritten. May he ever walk in the light of the crystal. Oh, Sultan Tree, hallowed spirit of my line, forgive my weakness. My failings have cost us dear. Show yourself! <sighs> As you command, O oh Lilira. Forgive my selfish desire to assure your welfare. I don't recall requesting an escort. Simply pretend we never met and continue on your way. We both know I can do no such thing. It isn't safe for you here alone. It isn't safe for anyone. Not with this etheric disturbance. It's as though the dead are watching us. And I prefer not to join them. If it's all the same to you. Ah, you must be the one that Papa Sean mentioned. Congratulations on finding our elusive young charge. You'll have to forgive her impetuousness. What she lacks in discipline, she makes up for in stubbornness. 
You should return with us. The Station Master will be eager to thank Lady Lilira's protector in person. Alas, the Station Master will have to wait. Dear Lilira, for my sake, please stay out of harm's way. As for you, dear friend, for Lilira's sake, please stay in harm's way. Crystal Bearer. I am Hydaelyn, all made one. A light there once was that shone throughout this realm, yet it has since grown dim. And as it hath faltered, so hath darkness risen up in its stead, presaging an end to life. For the sake of all, I beseech thee, deliver us from this fate. The power to banish the darkness dwelleth in the crystals of light. Journey forth and lay claim to them. Ah, coming around now. Would you mind telling me what 
luck that was. Hmm. If I only knew. A denizen of the Void, at any rate. The Void sent? Yeah, but how? The question isn't how, but who. We're not dealing with bookless bandits. Don't suppose the answer came to you in a dream? No sooner did you fell the beast than you fell asleep. Too much ether, no doubt. Interesting. I hadn't considered the crystal. But of course, this changes everything. Hmm? Oh, just thinking aloud. At any rate, we haven't a moment to spare. I must return and report this at once. I leave Lady Lilira in your capable hands. How dare you pass me about like a swaddled babe? I shall return and tell them myself. As you wish, your impetuousness. I suspect we shall meet again before long. Until then, do try and stay awake. <laughs>